Hello everyone and welcome back to Tech Cloud Solution. If you are preparing for the Azure Fundamentals exam, you are in the right place. If you haven't watched the previous parts, check out the playlist for complete coverage. If you want to download the complete PDF or simulate the exam like Microsoft's real test, visit our website Tech Cloud Solution for exclusive practice material. I will give you the link in the comment section and make sure to like subscribe and hit the bell icon for more in-depth exam guides. Now let's dive into today's question. Question number 41. Your company has decided to migrate some of its services to Microsoft Azure. The company wants to make sure that services deployed to Azure virtual machines are available if a single data center fails, select two correct options. The options are A. You deploy the virtual machines to two or more resource group. B. You deploy the virtual machine to two or more reason. C. You deploy the virtual machines to two or more scale sets. D. You deploy the virtual machines to a scale set. And the last option you deploy the virtual machines to two or more availability zone. So the correct answer is B and A. So availability zones expand the level of control you have to maintain the availability of the application and data on your VMs. An availability zone is a physically separate zone within an Azure region. Then option you deploy the virtual machines to two or more reason. So by deploying the virtual machines to two or more reason, you are deploying the virtual machines to multiple data center. This will ensure that the services running on the virtual machines are available if a single data center fails. Now the other options are not correct as you deploy the virtual machines to a scale set and you deploy the virtual machines to two or more scale set. So in both option, it does not specify that the scale set will be configured across multiple data center. So this solution does not meet the goal. Azure virtual machine scale sets let you create and manage a group of load balanced VMs. Then the next option, you deploy the virtual machines to two or more resource group is also incorrect as a resource group is a logical container for Azure resources. When you create a resource group, you specify which locations to create the resource group in. However, when you create a virtual machine and place it in the resource group, the virtual machines can still be in a different location. Therefore, Creating multiple resource groups, even if they are in separate data centers, does not ensure that the services running on the virtual machines are available if a single data center fails. Question number 42, which of the following is used when someone is only concerned about the code running the services instead of the underlying platform or infrastructure? select the correct option. The options are A. Azure Container B. Azure Function C. Logic App and D. Azure App Service. So the correct answer is Azure Function. So Azure Function is a serverless implementation provides a runtime environment to execute code written in any language the user is comfortable based on the language chosen an appropriate platform is provided to users for bringing their own code functions are idle when you are only concerned with the record running your service and not the underlying platform or infrastructure now the other options which are not correct as logic app so azure logic app helps you automate and orchestrate task business processes and workflows when you need to integrate apps, data, 
systems and services across enterprises or organizations. Logic Apps is a serverless solution, but you cannot run custom code with it. Next option, Azure Container. Container provides a consistent, isolated execution environment for application. They are similar to VMs except they don't require a guest operating system. Containers require the management of underlying infrastructure using services like AKS. The last option, Azure App Service. So it enables you to quickly and easily build web and mobile apps for any platform or device. Azure App Service enables you to build and host web apps, mobile backends, and RESTful APIs in the programming language of your choice. This question requires you to evaluate the text inside to determine if it is correct. A support plan solution that gives you best practices environments, health status and notification, and 24 by 7 access to billing information at the lowest possible cost is a standard support plan. Select no change needed if the above statement is correct otherwise select the correct answer the options are a developer b basic c professional direct and d no change needed the correct answer is b that is basic so all support plans gives you the facility of best practice information health status and notification and 24 by 7 access to billing information so basic plan can be used with the lowest cost to use these features. Other options are not correct as standard, developer and professional direct plans have higher cost compared to basic. Question number 44. You are planning to deploy several Azure virtual machines. You need to control the ports that devices on the internet can use to access the virtual machines. What should you use? The options are A. Application Security Group B. Network Security Group C. Microsoft Intra ID and D. Azure Key Vault So the correct answer is B. That is Network Security Group So Network Security Groups allow you to filter network traffic to and from Azure Virtual Resources in an Azure Virtual Network an NSG can contain multiple inbound and outbound security rules that enable you to filter traffic to and from resources by source and destination IP addresses, port and protocol. Other options which are not correct as Microsoft Intra ID. So it is a cloud based identity and access management services. Microsoft Intra ID helps employees of an organization sign in and access resources. Next, Azure Key Vault. So Azure Key Vault is a centralized cloud service for storing your applications secrets. Key Vault helps you control your application secrets by keeping them in a single central location and by providing secure access, permission control, and access logging capabilities. The last option is application security group. So application security groups enables you to group virtual machines and define network security policies based on those groups. These features allow you to reuse your security policy at a scale without manual maintain of explicit IP addresses. Question number 45. You are planning to store 20 TB of data in Azure. The data will be accessed infrequently and visualized by using Microsoft Power BI. You need to recommend a storage solution for the data. Which two solutions should you recommend? The options are Azure Cosmos DB, B Azure Data Lake, C Azure Database for PostgreSQL, D Azure SQL Database, and E Azure SQL Data Warehouse. So the correct answer is B and E. So Azure Data Lake is an on-demand analytics job service that simplifies big data. 
Azure Data Lake is used to handle the use cases where infrequent access to data and Power BI integration is a must. Next option, Azure SQL Data Warehouse. It can be used to handle the use cases where infrequent access to data, that is any kind of data and Power BI integration is a must. The other options which are not correct as Azure Database for PostgreSQL is incorrect as it is one of the data sources that you can use with Power BI but it is used in the use cases where frequent access of data is needed. Hence, this is not the correct choice. Next option, Azure SQL Database. So, Azure SQL Database is a relational database as a service based on the latest stable version of Microsoft SQL Server Database engine. SQL Database is a high performance, reliable, fully managed and secure database that you can use to build data driven application and websites in the programming language of your choice without needing to manage infrastructure. The last option, Azure Cosmos DB. So Azure Cosmos DB is a schema-less globally distributed database service that enables you to elastically and independently scale throughput and storage across any number of Azure geographic region. Question number 46. This question requires you to select the correct options from the drop-down. Availability means A. The percentage of time a system responds properly to request expressed as a percentage over time. B. A system must have 100% uptime to be considered available. C. A system can scale up and scale down depending on customer demand. D. A system has a single point of failure. So the correct answer is A. So the availability of a system is identified by the percentage of time a system responds properly to a request expressed as a percentage over time. Azure provides different ways to achieve high availability of a system like availability zone 99.99% and availability sets that is 99.95% SLA. Now the other options are not correct as a system must have 100% uptime to be considered available is incorrect as 100% uptime is the desired state of the system although public cloud provides 99.99% availability in availability zone and always recommends to plan for disaster recovery. Next option, a system that has a single point of failure. It is also incorrect as a single point of failure is a part of a system that if it fails will stop the entire system from working. Next option, a system that can scale up and scale down depending on customer demand is also incorrect as scaling up or down feature of a system is called elasticity. Elasticity is the ability to automatically or dynamically increase or decrease resources as needed. Elastic resources match the current needs and resources are added or removed automatically to meet the future needs when it's needed. Question number 47. A company is planning to host an application on a set of virtual machines. Virtual machines are going to be running for a prolonged duration of time. Which of the following should be considered to reduce the overall cost? The options are Azure Resource Group, B Azure Reservation and D Virtual Machine Scale Sets. So the correct answer is Azure Reservation. So Azure Reservation helps you save money by committing to one year or three year plans for multiple products Reservation can significantly reduce your resource cost up to 72% on pay-as-you-go prices. Reservation provides a billing discount and don't affect the runtime state of your resources. After you purchase a reservation, the discount automatically applies to matching resources. Now the other options are not correct as Azure Resource Group. 
so resource group is a unit of management for resources in azure allows you to logically group azure resources together resource groups do not help in reducing service users cost the last option virtual machine scale sets so virtual machine scale sets let you create and manage of load balanced vms instances which can automatically increase or decrease in response to demand in this scenario vms will be continuously running for a long duration so scale sets will not help in cost saving that's it's for today's azure fundamentals exam question review i hope these tips and tricks help you feel more confident for your exam and don't forget you can download the pdf and take a real exam simulation on our websites check the link in the comment section if you found this helpful like share and subscribe for more in depth exam prep and let me know in the comment how your preparation is going make sure to watch the next part in our easy 900 playlist for more practice question see you in the next one